Okay, so you've had a good break, you mix the energies a bit, and you found you're still high. <laughs> there are a few people who inquired in the break about various things that they weren't sure about in their bodies and other things. Remember, you don't have to do anything. This is a really important step. The more you inquire about how, the more you're giving that ability to somebody else. You know exactly what to do, and it's not in your brain. It's some part of you that you don't really need to know about. It's just like the part of you that allows you to walk and you don't have to concentrate on it. The fact that your body has a major computer that's bigger than any computer that's ever been built on the earth, it needs the chance to operate. It needs you to have enough patience to wait for the 20 milliseconds it takes to operate. We've all been down on ourselves and not even given ourselves that fraction of a second for the power of the body to come into action. And if you allow that processing time, as you observe anything in your life, you will find that it will gradually take you to the point of harmony and perfection simply because it can. And then you will find that there is no delay. But if you purposely allow that 20 milliseconds each time you observe something before you act on anything, that supercomputer will perform for you. So we're now getting into the areas that are available to us as advanced beings. The ability to allow the infinite power given to our physical being to do exactly what it wants to do. For many years we've worked at systems to tell the body what to do. We've worked at systems to tell one another what to do. And we've worked at systems to make ourselves miserable. There's not one system that does anything else except make you miserable. If you extract yourself outside of the field of control of your body, the opposite thing happens to what your brain says. You start to feel your own presence by taking yourself out to where you're supposed to be, the active energies around you will allow you to feel your own presence. And it will totally occupy your time, 100% of the time, day and night. You'll be preoccupied by your own presence. This is what makes everything work. This is what turns the brain off. This is what makes everybody totally happy, totally mischievous, and able to say, who cares? <laughs> so no matter what happens around you, the measure of you being able to say, who cares, is really the measure of harmony in your life. So be aware of the power of your being. It can do the impossible all the time. It doesn't rely on circumstance. You often hear of, in cases of accident, a little frail lady will pick a car up to let someone out from underneath. 
and they say, wow, that was the adrenaline. You can pump as much adrenaline through somebody as you like, you'll end up killing them. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with adrenaline. It's to, to do with all the powers available to you that are outside of your knowing. So to make the powers available to you, just use them. And don't bother trying to know about it. And it works every time. No matter what you need to do, just do it. And I've been saying do nothing. The reason we've been saying do nothing is so you could take yourself to a position where when you start to do something, it's done via the source. So you are still sitting way out there beyond infinity and you're experiencing yourself in your physical body. You bring yourself out of that position of beyond infinity and you just feel overloaded because you've put too much of yourself into the physical being. Everything available to it stops and it starts to feel the load. That's why I talk about the fact that there's two gravities. There's a spiritual gravity and a physical gravity. And we've known for thousands of years that if the saints and the sages meditate or pray, they lift off the ground. We forgot about that. That's another thing that's available to us. Another thing to play with. Another ability that's within our physical being. And this has nothing to do with any of our interference. Because you can sit someone on a chair, get half a dozen people around and lean on the person and then at a specific signal, let go and just put some fingers underneath the person, lift them out of the chair. Because you fooled the physical gravity that your brain has decided to put in place. So understand the capabilities that we're playing with. These are physical traits that we've all known about and we've never been able to use because we've been too intent on living in the body. The whole purpose of our being here is to indicate how big we are. And if I can say to you, look down on the stars and check out the universe next door and check out the universe on this side and make sure everything's in order in your own world and you just nod you're not sitting in your body so the movement of your focus can stop the flow you focus down in here you can stop the flow you focus up in there you can stop the flow it's necessary that you are everywhere that you are universal beings and that you have a flow that's totally non-linear. A flow that's the same as nature. A flow that follows music. And a flow that's just like a tree. Never one part of it the same as another. The feedback that you're going to bring to this world is really dependent on what I'm saying. The feedback that you bring bring to the new world and the new reality that you're creating here tonight is non-linear. It is never the same and the only person who knows exactly what it is is you. The only person who knows what's right and what's not right at a particular point in time is you and it's never the same twice. And so all the rules are useless. All the concepts are useless. But your ability to monitor everything, to follow everything, 
to adjust it in the universe is something that's much bigger than what you've been willing to admit. You are responsible beings and you know everything and you are everywhere. So do nothing and it'll all work. And you will never run into one another and you'll never do the same as one another and you'll never oppose and there'll be no competition and life is harmony. This is built in to the physical being. Our ability is not measured. Our ability is. As divine beings, that's who we are. That's not what we are. We are divine beings. And the only reason I can use the word divine, because it's the only one that everyone has agreed does not make up this world. And I'm saying it does. This has been the dividing point that has prevented everyone from being totally unlimited. You've done many things to prove to yourself you can go beyond certain limits. We're now totally aware that there are no such things as limits. Not even self-imposed. And there is no need to go past anything. There's only a need to do whatever you feel you need to do. And that can be beyond the wildest imagination and there is nothing to stop you. As we all get used to that, there'll be people doing the most unimaginable things with ease. Now I was asked by someone last night, so what do I do if I try to move something on the table that's on the other end of the table and it doesn't move? And so well don't take any notice of what the world's telling you. Move it and walk away. Eventually the world will show you that you did move it. because it is a field that we affect that makes everything tend to want to be solid, which is the field of intention. And we can move anything as long as we can feel it. So make sure that you're fully aware of everything around you, that you can feel everything in the room and you can feel everything that moves and everything that you may have as part of your life. Because everything that you see belongs to you, including the part of me that you see. It is part of your world, just like your fingers are part of your body. And as you get used to that, not a concept, that reality, you will never oppose or run into or upset or even have a different, a difference with anyone. Because you, you know you don't sit there and say to your finger, I don't like you. You can, but it might go black and fall off, you know. And that's what happens to people in your life, and it hurts. Know that it's part of you. Everything in your world, everything you can see and everything you can feel is part of you. So feeling is really important. Feel the trees, feel the traffic. Feel the noise, sit on top of it. Make sure everything carries you. Make sure 
that you are tracking that non-linear field all the time so that you're staying on top of the wave and there is nothing at all that can't lift you. Even annoyance. Use it. Let it lift you. In all our concepts, you can reverse them, they'll work. Once. But you're better off just to throw all concepts away and try the most unimaginable and you'll find you know how to do it. We're breaking nothing and we're changing nothing. <coughs> we're coming back into our physical world that's recreated every minute and we're re-meeting every part of ourselves and every part of everyone else every minute and we're seeing it new and therefore nothing is fixed and nothing is impossible we know that the universe does that for us every 24 hours where it, you go to sleep and it takes your life force out and gives it a scrub and puts it back in in the morning and, <laughs> and you, you get up at 10 o'clock because it took you a long time to put all the rubbish back in <laughs> we all know that <laughs> so do it every second of every day see everything new see the magic of the new rainbow colours see the magic of the new colours in everything and see how nothing clashes with anything there is no competition and there is no need for any competition. Where this all goes is, is something that we'll talk about for a long time. We've just got past the first 1% of our redevelopment. From there it goes straight up and it'll go so fast you'll think you're standing still because the time base will change and if you if you look at it as a exponential curve you get to a certain point and you're going straight up almost the time base of our life is changing but it's becoming non-linear so you have a look back over the last week or so, there are sections of it that took a long time and other sections have just disappeared. And when you look back and forward a few times, it never stays the same. It's non-linear and it's never the same. Even if you look at it twice, each time you look at it, it's different. See this and know that that's a great advantage to you because there are no problems there are no difficulties and if you want something to be not so big just wait for a few minutes the time base will change and it won't be so whenever you come across anything that looks like it's monstrous look at it and say it's too big at the moment Come back in a few minutes time and go, oh, uh, uh, that's better. <laughs> it will change. Use the non-linearity. Use the fact that you, things don't progress in a straight line. See that there's trouble ahead. Follow it and watch it move away at the last minute just as if you're skiing down a slope. Every second is different. If you know this, you will just get out of the road and enjoy yourself. And enjoy the ride and know that you are changing the universe, not just your local community. 
what you're doing here is massive because it's not just for here it's happening everywhere and what comes next doesn't matter who cares because you are you and you know it will be perfect anyway you know that you're tracking harmony all the way so there's not going to be any difficulty and if it looks like there's a difficulty just look at it and say well you got that wrong didn't you <laughs> you think I owe you money that's your problem <laughs> <laughs> and you watch it will change and the hole will get filled because of who you are because you don't have any problems and you don't have any restrictions the only restrictions that you will come across are ones that are placed on you and you just recognize it say it's not part of my world and the flow will happen for you talking about flow that's the thing that's going to support you all and it's not just each person's flow it's a flow that comes into all of us and it will track non-linear to whoever it can get through just like water going down the stream it'll go to where it needs to go don't be surprised if one day you're earning a fortune and you know it belongs to a lot of other people and the next day someone else is doing it this is going to happen the flow has to happen and the distribution we know about we know it in our heart we know what is a fair balance every time we know that if something's coming through to us that doesn't really have the label on that it's for us we know exactly where to put it where to pass it on or where to multiply it many times all we need is flow and so when money circumstance events people come through your field there is a way to redistribute that without you losing anything flow is flow it's not ownership and it will flow to everybody and nourish everyone it's like energy it will flow through us around us in and out of us it'll even heat us up and the fact that we can maintain our own music and produce our own star and allow that to go out throughout the universe and we can do it again and again and again and we've just taken up about three seconds we've recreated the whole world around us and the universal energies that come in as a result of that produce a flow that's going to support us forever and a life force that will hold you tall under all circumstances I've spent time demonstrating how this works in other workshops I know that you all know and that you'll work with one another to find out and that each one of you are going to go way past where I am in an instant and you'll see yourself blossom the way you knew you were supposed to there is nothing better for anybody than to see everyone blossom and I can see it all happening here and I can see that even though the brain says I don't know what he's talking about <laughs> the rest of it's working and you all are going way past in your own way to where your engine starts and you take off into a world that's thousands and thousands and thousands of times bigger than the one you're in now I'll be doing a lot of work from here on to assist in developing the flow for all these people like yourselves throughout the world so that we will be all connected 
we will have a support system that is based on the unknown and we will have that at the same level as the physical support system that supports us no matter where we go. And it'll be a very short period before you'll see that you can go anywhere in the world, do anything you like, and it'll be no different to if you were here as far as cost and flow goes. We are universal beings and we're meant to be on this earth to look after one another no matter where we are. Be aware though that it's only those who came in for that purpose that can do that at this point in time because the earth is not ready to hold that vibration. And until the earth is ready to hold that vibration, any attempt to do what we do will falter. And until we've created that elevated platform of living and allowed ourselves to shine in the universe, the world won't recognize us. But it's only a matter of months away. <laughs> and we'll be out there glowing everywhere. And people will start not to follow, but to do similar things. So enjoy everything. Do nothing. And don't be lazy. I think what we'll do now is just raise that energy again and I'd like you all to do it and to raise the whole platform. That's it. Wow. What a powerful thing. Feel that energy going up. Just lift it way up and a little bit of mischief and a bit of magic. <laughs> huh? Throw some sparkles around and change the world. Wow. Thank you.